welcome to Shamba Dairy. My name is Helen Kamba. I'm a farmer and the name of the farm is Shamba Dairy. We are in Mukarara, Kagema Sub County, Muranga County. <laughs> What we basically do, we do dairy goats, uh, and from the dairy goats, we do not only look at the goats itself, we look at other products from the goats, and mainly we look at the, the, by, uh, the waste, the waste from the goats, that is the goats droppings, and one of the things we do with the goat droppings, uh, we generate uh, biogas from the droppings. And then from the droppings, we are able to get the bio slurry, and the bio slurry, we use it in the farm. If you look at where I am, I have introduced another system of farming we call uh, corn farming, uh, although some people call it more storage uh, gardens, others call them vertical gardens. And these gardens, basically, they are for people who don't have big farms. Uh, like you can see this, uh, the place I've placed these gardens, it's a very small farm, but the production is big. Uh, if you look at uh, like uh, four gardens like these ones, if I, I use the four gardens, the plants I can plant on four gardens is about 400 plants, but in the same space, I would only do 100, 100 plants. And uh, with the gardens, I'm able to do variety of vegetables. Like uh, in front of here, I have celery, I have, uh, I have managu, I have terere, I have even beans. And uh, everything here is done organically. Uh, through again the droppings, we are able to make something we call animal tea. Animal tea is not tea from animals, no. We take the waste, we soak it, we suspend it in a drum, we soak it for about 21 days, and that one we use it as our foria for our vegetables or for anything that we have planted in. Like this one is ready, I'm supposed to remove this. This one has already infused, I'm supposed now to remove this. And this one, this is a very good foria. When you're making this garden, you need to look at the soil very well. Your soil must be fertile, your soil must be well aerated. And to ensure that our soil is good, uh, we take the, 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 the compost, the compost manure from our goat droppings. Uh, if the manure is well composed, you can use a ratio of one is to two, of uh, one, one big bucket of manure, two buckets of, of soil. Uh, this soil, you mix it very well. And then uh, at times we do soil testing. Before we mix the soil, you can opt to do the soil testing, which will help you so much to know the components in your soil. Uh, we normally do that here in the farm. We have a gadget that can test uh, the soil test, the, the soil and gives you the result just there, the result of the soil. Then it will show you what mineral is lacking in the soil. And through that, you are able to know how much manure from the goat droppings are you going to add to the soil. And once you do the right composition, the plants will actually enjoy the soil. And again, we also have the plant tea. Plant tea is we collect all different types of plants, uh, including tithonia, and then we soak them for like 21 days. And that's also we use it for our soil, to treat our soil. Uh, we also do something we call biochar. The waste from the charcoals, we also do that to, to make our soil fertile. Uh, from the droppings from the biogas, we have the, a product called bioslurry. Then the bioslurry, we are, we are separating the bioslurry, the liquid part of it and the solid. The solid, we use it as fertilizer. We dry it and then we use it as a fertilizer. And then the liquid part of it, we are able to use that. We mix it with our different plants. We soak it for 21 days and we also use it as foliar for our plant. Occasionally, you can also use it uh, direct to the plant. It has no harm. Uh, initially, like this banana, the one we call matoke, when you plant away from the, the bioslurry line, uh, the production is not as compared when it's on this uh, bioslurry line. Every day we collect our 
droppings, the goat droppings every day from the goat house. Uh, those uh, droppings, uh, we normally separate them, the ones that have compost and the ones that are clean. The ones that are clean are the ones that we use for the biogas. Once we collect them, we have a soaking chamber where we soak the droppings for like three days. And then after that, we mix with water. And then it's, uh, it's well, now we release it to the di biodigester. Uh, through the process in the, di bio, in the digester, that is where now we are able to get the gas and the bio slurry. Of course, the gas, we use it for cooking. Uh, for the last like four years, we've not bought gas. That is the gas we use. And we have three units of gas. We have uh, the, the instant heater that uses the, the gas. We have a four burner cooker in the main house and we have a two burner cooker that is used by my staffs. So that tells you with the goats, we are able now to cut down the cost of gas and the cost of firewood. Okay, the biogas can cook anything regardless of what type of food you're cooking. It's not just tea. You can cook meat, you can cook gedari with it, you can cook even the grains and there is no problem with that. It can cook as long as you feed your digester on daily basis. In this farm again, uh, we have hubs. Uh, we are the people who are very are sensitive with what we put into our mouths. So we are we are we look at, um, at the the healthy way of growing the food that we eat, and uh, we advocate so much for eating food for medicine. And that is why you find even in this farm, the small farm, you find there are so many herbs, and the herbs we've grown them with the with the, the bio slurry and the goat droppings without any fertilizer. Uh, I would say this, uh, our goats, we don't look at them just like goats. It's like um, there is a circle that comes from the goats. From the goats, we get the droppings. The droppings give us a, a fire, that is the biogas. From the biogas, we get the bio slurry. From the bio slurry, we are able to grow the feeds for the goats and the feed for ourselves. Then again, those feeds goes back again to the goats. Those people who look down onto goats, there is so much that the goats can do to one family. Even if it's one goat, it can do so much for you. Because look at this this way. This biogas is giving me fire. It's also giving me food. Because uh, from the goats, we get the droppings, we make manure, we use it in the farm. Then from the farm, we grow the feeds for the animal. It goes back again to the animal. Then the animal gives us now again the the, the, the droppings, we use them in the, it's like a, a, a cycle in the farm whereby we do this from the goats, 